hey, the future is already here. What are you waiting for? Are you just simply going to play from the sidelines or are you going to be an active participant in it? Are you just going to sit back and watch it happen right in front of your eyes? Or you're going to take the bull by the horns and uh, say, hey, like I'm going to make something of this. Hi, Praveen. Welcome to the Scope Forward Show. How are you? Hi, this feels weird, but thank you for having me. It's great to have you here. Praveen, this is your third book. So the first question I want to ask you is, what inspired to write this book? It's been three years since I've been at it. And like somebody I had interviewed, incidentally, an author that I had interviewed had told me that if you really want to give yourself a lot of pain and suffering, you should attempt writing a book. And it does feel like that because I started and stopped so many times this book. Like I thought I'd finished I even declared on the internet on LinkedIn that, hey, like, you know, I had finished the book, but none of that happened. I've rewritten this again and again and again. What prompted me to get on this journey was the interviews that I was doing on the Scope Forward show. When I was talking to all these different innovators, like, you know, 99% of them are either scientists or physicians and they're innovating. They're really thinking differently about gastroenterology and healthcare. And when I did all those interviews, it led to the insight that, you know, the future is not something that is far in the distance, in the future. The future is here and right now. And maybe we're missing that point. We just haven't connected the dots, but when we connect the dots, it will become as obvious and as apparent as, as it has been to me that the future is already here. We just need to take action and recalibrate our systems to stay relevant. And that's what got me going with the book. So Praveen, this leads me to the next question. Why do you think now is the correct time to launch this book? How did you arrive on this theme? What patterns did you notice in the industry which made you think that something needs to be done about it? Many people in the audience, they may know that after the launch of Scope Forward, which was in the peak of the pandemic, I started a leadership program called the GI Mastermind. Now, I never knew what the GI Mastermind would turn out to be. I just had a hunch or a, an inkling on, you know, what the potential of it can be. I wanted people to take action based on the learnings and insights from Scope Forward. And I thought if I can facilitate that and help people see the future from the lens that I was seeing, then there wouldn't be any fear about the future, but there would be excitement and people would treat it with a sense of adventure. And that is how the GI Mastermind started. What transpired through the program was nothing short of magical. People started new companies, people changed careers. So all kinds of things I've seen, it has had a deep influence on their personal lives. And that mastermind program runs across three circles. One is the digital aspect. One is the business aspect, but there's a third leg to the mastermind, which I called leadership because what I actually wanted to talk about was mindset, but I was too shy to call it mindset. And I thought, you know, what are people going to think and say? So I ended up calling it leadership. And to my surprise, or maybe not, what I discovered is that it's the mindset aspect that really moved people and inspired people to take deep action. Connecting the dots all back to this new book, The Shift, what got me going from within is the mindset of the industry needs to change. And the timing of it can't be better. We can have the best of technology, the best of AI tools available for us. But if we are not internally wired and ready and raring to go, enthusiastic about this shift that is occurring all around us, which is undeniable, nothing's going to happen. And uh, healthcare as an industry is going to continue to lag behind. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to drop my stone in the pool and create the ripple that I can potentially create. And I'm very thankful for the participants of the GI Mastermind who actually facilitated these insights through the many direct and open conversations. That sounds amazing. You're highlighting the necessary shift within the industry to prepare for the future, which is inspiring. Regarding the book's title, I've seen some advanced praise from industry leaders that's really compelling. It definitely makes me want to read it soon. Talking about the readers, 
Who do you think is the primary audience that needs to read the shift? You know, every author, when they're writing a book, they have one or two people in mind. And I had physicians in mind, you know, to begin with, uh, because I've always believed that the healthcare industry and the healthcare system revolves around two primary actors, physicians and patients, and everything else has formed around it. But now with whatever is happening, that whole equation is changing. It's no longer about physicians interacting with patients and vice versa. There's a structural change, you know, which is underway and a whole lot of innovators and people and companies and teams are involved in delivering care. Like even apps are involved. For example, in the book, I've interviewed the founder of a stool testing app. They are delivering care, if you will. Like, you know, they are analyzing disease. The app and the system, the technology platform is able to analyze and diagnose. This whole game and platform is changing and expanding. So from that standpoint, it is people who are interested and enthusiastic about leading this revolution. They could be physicians, they could be leaders, whether of teams or of organizations. Mm -hmm. These could be medical practices or these could be investors who want to fuel capital for this expansion to occur. These mm -hmm. could involve technology companies that are in gastroenterology and healthcare. Uh, what I've done is I've tried to understand first for myself and therefore through the book to, you know, for everybody else on the vast shifts that are occurring in the healthcare industry from the lens of this one specialty called gastroenterology. And I've gone deep into this specialty. And by going deep into any one area, you pretty much understand the whole. And that was my reason or principle for focusing on this specialty. So I'd say all of you who are listening to this should definitely read the book and lead this revolution. So Praveen, the book delves deeply into digital innovation and its transformative effects on the industry. In what ways does it educate readers about the broader implications of this transformation in healthcare? What I've done is I've divided the book into several sections. The first okay. section has four chapters and it presents a conceptual framework across the digital landscape, across the business landscape, which particularly talks about taking advantage of these exponential technologies for your business so that you can save costs, increase sources of revenues, and attract greater capital to your ideas and what you do. The third aspect is mindset. If you look at the industry, physicians in this field of healthcare is one of the most stressed out fields and particularly physicians. It, some of the statistics are quite shocking. And some of the comments I came across in the Medscape surveys on physician well-being are shocking. And I was thinking, you know, if, if the primary actors in healthcare who are currently leading the system, if their mindset is not geared up for leading, then you can have the best of AI tools. It's only going to magnify what exists instead of helping situation. So that's the third chapter. And the fourth one is I'm reimagining gastroenterology care about a decade from now. Through the lens of GI care, you will be able to understand how all of healthcare is going to function. And this isn't a pie in the sky. The process of actually reimagining was quite interesting even for me. First of all, it started with understanding the broader trends of where the all the industries are going as far as technology, AI are concerned. And there are several new industries that are going to be born that we don't have an inkling of right now. We are not thinking, for example, the microbiome space could be a, an industry of its own, but it could be. First, I lay that out very clearly. And then what I ended up doing is I worked with one of the AI large language models and gave it all the interview transcripts and everything that I had done with these various innovators. Now, this was technology that is here and now, we went back and forth to come up with a model. When you project all these innovations into the future, five, 10 years from now, what might that look like? And then we came up with this. I say we, uh, because it was both AI and I doing it together. And then I vetted it with uh, clinicians and that was also superbly helpful. So that's the first section, but the other innovations are presented. Like if you look in gastroenterology, you will find AI, you'll find robotics, 
you will find new care models. That, you know, there's a company that is completely virtual GI care. There's actually more than one. There are people who have taken entrepreneurial tracks, who have changed careers. And there are, again, individuals who present the big picture perspective. There's one particular one, a favorite of mine, who says vocally that we're in a world of colonoscopy factories, and we really got to wake up from focusing on single procedure revenue streams and really expand out. So those perspectives, so I present these various wonderful perspectives from over 30 innovators in gastroenterology care who are very clearly, bravely and boldly building the future on their terms. So I bring that home in the form of this book, The Shift, and that's what collectively is going to educate the industry. That sounds fantastic. Praveen, Based on everything I've heard about this book so far, it doesn't appear to be your typical healthcare book. It feels quite unique. There's a clear sense of personal connection you have to it. What sets this book apart from others in the field? Uh, it's a very interesting question. Yes, it is a very human book. There is a definitely a personal element. I think shared a lot more about myself than I have ever done in any of the previous works. What I figured uh, is actually this, the world itself, forget about industry, healthcare, the world and society and culture is changing and is dramatically changing. We are at a point of time right now in 2024, uh, where AI is performing better in many, many, many aspects of work. It can write quite well. It can do quality analysis quite well. It is an expert in multiple fields. It can program and find bugs in software programs. It can diagnose disease codes. It can structure medical notes. As we all know, it has passed the medical licensing exams and the legal exams and you know whatnot. And this is just the beginning. We've barely scratched the surface. Fast forward next year and the few years after that, it's going to be on, again, quoting Elon Musk, double exponentials. So this is going to rapidly expand at a scale that humanity has never seen so far. And it would be naive to imagine that healthcare and particularly gastroenterology will not be affected by this wave that is occurring. Now, that is the context. When you look at this context, when so much of everything is going to be technological and machine driven. What we actually want as people is a human connection. And it's not a transactional business conversation. I think we have enough of that. And Chat GPT can do a wonderful job directing you on uh, several aspects at the surface level. Uh, but it is the human to human connection and story that is of interest to me. And that is what moves me. I want to know why someone is motivated to do something, you know, of whatever he or she does. So I think I bring that angle to the book. Like, yeah, I've never written something like this. You, you can't bucket it as, you know, just a healthcare book, even though my uh, the positioning is all my shop front, as I always say, is digital and business. But what I'm actually here for is if the book can inspire and stir a shift within our own hearts and motivate us to use this disruptive phase as the very tool to disrupt the industry as we know it and rewire the system for the good of all of us and future generations, I think it's a huge win. So thank you for that question. That sounds incredible. It's great to see how something so personal to you resonates with both industry professionals and general readers discussing the book. Praveen, what's your favorite section in the book? Is there a part you would highly recommend to readers? The way I would recommend people to read the book is definitely read the first four chapters. Of course, the introduction is you know, up to you. Please read Dr. Larry Kozinski's forward because he presents a completely different angle. Uh, he calls it the era of the second derivative, which is very, very insightful and smart. So I'd read all of that first. Then I'd look at these various interviews based on what is of interest to me. Like, so if AI is of interest to you, go ahead, pick the AI interviews and read that. They're presented in a conversational style so that you know how exactly 
it was to have a conversation with this person uh, as a human being. So if robotics is of interest, you know, read that. If you want to understand what the new care models are and what the challenges of those companies, read about that. If you want to learn about variables and devices, like such as, for example, there's an interview on a breath device that diagnoses conditions such as SIBO, go and read that. But I foresee people going back and referring to this book again and again and again. You know, after Scope Forward, uh, some readers told me that they've underlined it. They've like at least read three times, maybe more. Uh, and I actually met somebody who had post-it notes in that Scope Forward book all over and notes because I think she had just joined a company as a senior executive and she wanted to educate herself on gastroenterology. What I foresee happening is this is going to be an incredible resource for the entire industry, not just for now, but for the several years to come, because we are laying huge foundation for the direction of where healthcare is going to go. And this book, and thanks to all the innovators who have shared their wisdom with me and allowed me to present their views to the whole world. So I'm really, really thankful to them. And so it's going to be that kind of a resource. Wow, that really serves as a guide on how to approach reading the book. It sounds quite exciting. Praveen, what does success look like for you when it comes to this book? At what point would you consider it successful? It's a very interesting question. Success for me personally would be meet people at conferences all the time. If someone comes up and says that it dramatically altered their life, the direction in which they were going, they read the book and it completely changed them inside out and they took on a new trajectory. That kind of impact would be successful. When I extrapolate it to the wider industry, if the industry can be inspired to use the book, educate the future participants in the industry from physicians, gastroenterologists, and even technologists, the wider industry, they can be educated and they take the industry in a different turn uh, and do so boldly and also not shy away from uh, having open conversations and uh, just saying what needs to be said and tackling issues head on. Like I think that kind of impact would be very meaningful. All this would have been worth it. That's great to hear. It's truly inspiring. Praveen, I have a follow-up question for you. Imagine you had a huge blank banner that everyone in gastroenterology or healthcare could see. What word or phrase would you choose to write in large, bold letters? That's a tough one. I don't know if I've written it in the book. I don't think I've written it in the book. But what comes to me right now is, hey, the future is already here. What are you waiting for? Are you just simply going to play from the sidelines or are you going to be an active participant in it? Are you just going to sit back and watch it happen right in front of your eyes? Or you're going to take the bull by the horns and uh, say, hey, like, I'm going to make something of this. So Praveen, this is your third book. Besides being a writer, what other projects or interests are you involved in? And what excites you the most right now? You know, as many entrepreneurs would relate to this, my fingers are in multiple pots and I enjoy participating in a whole lot of areas. Like, so one is I'm co-founder of Next Services, like a company that is currently going through its own revolution using automations and AI uh, to completely automate the revenue cycle uh, management landscape end-to-end. -end. Like, so the workflow needs to be automated end-to-end -end with the help of automation tools, AI, and that's what the company is doing. It also has products, cloud-based endoscopy report writer, a cloud-based EHR that is going through also its own revolution where AI is being integrated. Like, so pretty much the company is integrating AI into every aspect of work, including functions like marketing and HR and finance and all that. So that's one area of involvement. Uh, the second area is the GI mastermind program. Uh, last year, we also launched what is called as the GI Mastermind Conclave. It was an in-person meetup. It was amazing. We had uh, clinicians and innovators from industry actually work together in an immersive workshop. And that was quite amazing. But the GI Mastermind program, like I talked about it earlier in this interview, is essentially to shift the ball 
forward for leadership on not shying away from the future, but acknowledging the future, learning about it and taking it head on and boldly reshaping the healthcare landscape on their terms. You know, that's something that I'm actively involved in. There's a newsletter that largely is run by my team, but I do oversee it. It's called the Scope Forward Newsletter. I think it's the best newsletter on the planet on the business and technology aspects of gastroenterology. Like, so it's a combination of AI and human intelligence uh, working together to curate what people need to be on top of. And it's amazing how things are changing. I find it very useful myself. Outside of this deep pursuit of mine is yoga and uh, breath work uh, as it is called in English, but pranayama as it is called in its uh, root language. So a lot of my focus and effort at an individual level and people I work with is in that direction. And I foresee that aspects of wellness and aspects of helping people get on with what they really want to do with their life is going to take an increasing role in what I do in the future. So Praveen, as we discuss writing bestsellers and your many endeavors, what's the best way for people to connect with you? I think the easiest way currently in 2024 like is LinkedIn, usually quite responsive. Uh, that's one way. The other way is go to the Scope Forward website or the Next Services website. And if you put a message, my team will make sure that it somehow gets to me if it needs to get to me. Uh, like I think those are the best ways. Praveen, thank you for taking the time for this interview. Wishing you all the best with your book. I'm sure it will make a significant impact on lives and the industry. Thanks again. I quite enjoyed it. So thank you so much. <laughs>